Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me today here with my friends at VIP Motors in Dubai to go inside and check out the Mansori Venetus Evo based on the Lamborghini Urus but of course with a little bit of a twist and inside they actually have the most incredible array of SUVs. Let's head straight in, go check them out and take out the Venetus Evo for a test drive. Here in the showroom at VIP Motors, in some incredible company, we have the car that we've come to take a look at today. And in a moment, we'll be taking outside the Mansori Venetus Evo. Now, the Evo is Mansori's upgraded full package for the Lamborghini Urus. A few updates, including some more aggression to the design and even more power than before. We're going to go through all of the details about it from the full wide body kit that this car is wearing and just look at how menacing and brutal it is with the exposed carbon fiber contrasting against the bright yellow paintwork. We'll go through the interior where Mansori have given it a full, complete retrim and update. And also, this car has the P820 package, which means it makes 820 horsepower, as the name suggests, and a thunderous noise from this very unusual exhaust mounted there in the center of the diffuser. But like I said, some incredible company here in the VIP Motors showroom. And one thing you notice out here in the UAE is that there are four SUVs you see a lot. One is the Lamborghini Urus, one is the Rolls-Royce Cullinan, one is the G-Wagon, and the other is the Bentley Bentayga, of which you have the most extraordinary selection here. And in fact, there are six of the Lamborghini SUV, four of which, those three and the yellow car are the Venetus. There's another just down there at the moment. And the satin black car here is the standard. Now the Urus is serious hot property at the moment. The Mansori car stands out even more, just ridiculously extreme. The gloss black car here is also an Evo. The satin silver car and the satin black cars are the regular, if you can call it regular Venetus. But when you put these two side by side, there's quite a difference. I mean, the Urus is quite an aggressive design to begin with, very distinctly Lamborghini, with all of the Y shapes that you can see inside the headlights and in the vents as well, the jagged edges that you have around the wheel arches as opposed to a, a clean round finish. But then you go to the Mansori product and it's a different cup of tea. This is just extreme to the extreme. But it's not just that, just look around here for a moment. Here in the G63s, we have a Herfler GLE 63 there. We have the Brabus G-Wagons here. I think this is a G800. The back, we have two Brabus AMG G63 6x6s. I love that in the Mystic Blue. We've got the G650 Maybach Landerlei as well. The lineup in this showroom is just phenomenal. But we have come to take a look at this. So let's walk around the Mansouri Venetus Evo in more detail, starting at the front. And I mean, it has a complete conversion, entirely new components, the new carbon fiber with this forged chopped carbon look for the whole bonnet. Same goes over the front nose, a new badge, the Mansouri Evo badge. Obviously we've got the cruise control and radar sensors, but all of the exposed carbon down towards the bottom, the lip spoiler that comes all the way around, the Evo package, added these extra canards, motorsport style, around towards the side. We've got the wide body arches wrapping all the way around these gigantic 24 inch Mansori wheels, new carbon fiber side skirts, carbon mirror caps. If we continue coming around towards the rear, you could opt to have the car with the fixed spoiler here. You have the ducktail sitting just below, the roof lip spoiler at the top of the window as well. And then the menacing look of that diffuser. You've got all of the veins highlighted with the yellow accents and this triple flower-like exhaust system, we could say, which we'll hear in a moment when we start up the 4-litre twin-turbo V8 that is in this car. In fact, let's come and check out the interior quickly and then take a look at the engine bay as well. The Mansori do their work to the inside of the car. You can see the yellow touches brought on through, new updates to the controls, the grills, for example, here. Again, these Y shapes carrying all the way through the grills, the floor mats, you name it, they can reupholster the seats, whatever it might be that you would like. I'm going to pop open engine bay to come and show you this here in the center of the steering wheel as well. Venetus Mansuri Evo. I'll come and show you the engine. Four liter twin turbo V8. As I said, the stock car makes an already incredible 650 horsepower and 850 newton meters. This car with its new plate over the top now makes 820 horsepower and a thousand newton meters. You can also get the P745 upgrade, which would be 745 horsepower with 960 newton meters. But thanks to this and the four wheel drive system with the auto gearbox, zero to 100 kilometers an hour, 62 miles an hour is just 3.3 seconds. And the top speed is 320 kilometers an hour, 199 miles per hour. 
Look at all the carbon there on the underside of the bonnet. Let's close this back down, carefully done it. There we go, click it into place. So I guess we need to get the car on outside, take it for a little drive and see what the Venetus Evo is all about. Well, I told you it would sound good. <laughs> Out it heads for the moment. This is with the valve closed now, by the way. It is a valve control exhaust system, so you can choose whether it is ludicrously loud or a little bit quieter. Past, we just had four in one shot there, which is monumentally epic. And like I said, the display and lineup of the Rolls Royce Cullinans here, that satin yellow certainly stands out with the other cars with different colored interiors. I'm spotting a dark burgundy, a brighter red, yellow, and of course, plenty of other very nice cars here. But let's blow the car out and go hop on board. Now, one fun thing, before we even go anywhere, the start button for the Venetus is up here on the roof, a bit like the Senna. You have the start button, give that a press. That sounds cool. Now we've got the anima selector here in the center, which is where you have the different driving modes. So in this case, if you go up into Corsa mode and you take the Mansori valve control and make sure one, which is open, <laughs> oh, that sounds ridiculous. Okay, if you hold this, by the way, it jumps straight back to Strada, I have learned. So that's Strada and quiet if we close the valve, but I think we're gonna start actually properly. Valve open, sport mode. That would be a good, a good starting setup. So, into gear then, as soon as we can, we'll go on out for a short little drive. Um, hopefully not get too lost on the roads out here, but let's get on the, oh wow, listen to that. Never has 40 kilometers an hour sounded so ri ridiculous. This is insane. First gear at 20 kilometers an hour. <laughs> what are we listening to? I expected it to be firmer over that bump there. Never has driving at such civilized speeds felt like it was going so stupidly fast. I mean, we're at 40 kilometers an hour and if I drop down second gear, and that's with the, uh, the windows closed, we open the window for a moment. Oh, the snaps. This is ludicrous. In sport mode and automatic, it's not exactly bad, but I am gonna press the M button here, which pops the gearbox into manual just to use the new shift paddles that we have as well from Mansori. This thing, that shift sound as well. And then the burbles, obviously this is in noisy mode and you can go into Corsa as well, which is even more aggressive, I guess, get a slightly different dashboard look. This is just mental. <laughs> it just barks, it just barks and shouts from behind you. You must be able to hear this a mile away. We're heading out towards Sheikh Zayed Road at the moment, the main massive busy highway that goes up through the center of Dubai. And I mean, there are some crazy cars that really stand out in this city, but this in bright yellow with the full Mansouri kit is probably up there for about the craziest of things that you could possibly drive. And like I said, you see so many SUVs, I'm sure in the next couple of minutes we'll spot countless G63s and Ventegas. This sound is just silly. Third gear, small acceleration. You can feel the extra power. It's got sports cats, numerous upgrades, of course, to get that extra power up from 650 horsepower to 820, 170 horsepower, more than standard. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. This car, I tell you what, it drives quite nicely though. It feels fairly smooth and comfortable and, you know, a good way to cruise around with the added benefit of just being simply insane and absurd when you wanted to. We're heading at the moment up north towards downtown, so you will spot just behind the bridge here, the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world, ludicrously high. I mean, that's uh, to tall buildings as this is to civilized cars, if we want to make some kind of comparison. Slow down a moment and then makes very little sense, but it makes oh so much sense. <laughs> the 
roads are pretty busy today as you can see a lot of traffic around and counting the SUVs there goes a Bentayga bang on bang on queue and a new KM Coupe as well I mean you just see so many luxury sports SUVs around here Jelly, Jelly 63 of course I mean the point becomes apparent almost immediately I guess oh there's a Lambo just over there you probably won't catch it but there was a, uh, a Gallardo just parked up on the side of the road this is just so silly though, it's so silly, but I'm really enjoying it and that's often what these cars should be about, right? Having fun. Now if I do pop it back into Strada mode and close the exhaust valve, wow listen to that and go back into drive. It's totally normal, totally normal, quiet, chilled, calm. Oh there was another Urus, I didn't, nearly didn't spot it. Just went past us. <laughs> Urus and Bentayga alongside one another up ahead of us. And a G-Wagon, G63 over to the right. <laughs> and a, is that a Cullinan? And a Cullinan in front of the G63. Two Cullinans, white one and the black one. That is so, I guess, textbook but what I was saying. We've just got all four in sight at one time. And another Rolls Royce coming behind actually over to the uh, to left. That will get here in a second. Like this, it's civilized. We're in eighth gear, just cruising along. That's so funny, it's a wraith coming past this time. That's so like, textbook Dubai. I don't know if you can quite see, yeah, he's, he's staring at this car unsurprisingly, as is the wraith to be honest. Just madness, absolute madness. Um, you see the thing with SUVs then, that all of those models are standard models. You know, everyone's got one. There are loads of Aruses around and that's where the Mansouri package stand, stands out. It's obviously not for everyone's taste. It's, it's so extreme and divisive. But if you like this kind of styling, obviously then you have the opportunity to have something that's unique and a bit different to everything else that you see out on the roads. Talking about the Lamborghini Urus, we've already stumbled into another factory Urus. There are lots and lots of them around here. It is crazy how many you see. And obviously, like I said, massive, massive demand for the car here in the Middle East, which is such a popular region for Lamborghini models in general. So when Lamborghini introduced an SUV, I guess it was absolutely a no-brainer that they would be successful out here and they would be very, very popular amongst customers. And you completely see it. You just see them. I mean, we've, we've driven for, what, 10 kilometers and we've already passed two out on the roads. And that's a small summary. And of course, the car is only two or three years old to begin with at this stage. It will have a life cycle of a couple more years, absolutely for sure. Anyway, we're gonna head on back. Just a short drive. Big thanks to VIP Motors. I, I, I've got a big smile on my face. A really, really fun little outing. One thing that's kind of fun is even in Strada, you just hear more of the turbo noise. And of course, if you do then go back into Corsa, open it all up and go manual. <laughs> I can't get enough of that. This thing is so ridiculously dramatic and we're just arriving back at VIP Motors where yet another Lamborghini Urus is here. Listen to that, we'll pull up here for the moment. Back at the showroom, crazy. Having returned to the showroom, that has been quite fun. The Venetus Evo, I mean, just look at it parked here. That contrast between the bright yellow and the carbon fiber, the chopped, forged carbon fiber. Remember that Mansori do so many different takes on carbon. They have a huge library of different effects that they can have from gigantic weave to the stealth bomber to all sorts of different styles. The forged look that we have on this, of course, in the style that we've seen as well from Lamborghini, those massive 24 inch wheels, almost making the normally very, very large brake calipers and brake discs look a little bit smaller than they would on the standard I guess 22s or maybe 23s that you can have from factory on this car on the Venetus Evo you've got the Evo badging as we saw earlier on the end plate of that fixed spoiler quite unusual to have a fixed spoiler like this on an SUV but bringing some of that extreme styling that Mansori have done on their various Lamborghini models into the Urus and as you can see back here as well Mansori B820 performance as I said 820 horsepower Mansori badges actually all over the car we have back here on the boot lid, we have in the center between the lights, we have on the exhaust system, on the two uh, upright parts of the exhaust. All of this is just, well, fairly mega. I'm just gonna start it up one more time because while we're here, pillarless windows on the Urus, which is nice. All of the details, even down here as well, the Mansori custom foot pedals that we have. The button up top to start it, as we said. And then that noise, and that's just starting in Strada. 
but with the valves opened, obviously if you go up the revs, build a touch, that's 3,000 RPM. <laughs> it's a little bit silly. Yeah, okay. That is very, very loud, very, very aggressive. We've got the Mansory badging on the passenger side of the dash here. You've got the B&O tweeters with the upgraded sound system that rise up out of the dashboard. All of your infotainment through the, through, through the two touch screens. Um, the haptic touch screen here for the air conditioning, the climate control. Uh, obviously we've got it set quite cold at the moment. And then all of your main settings and media and infotainment controls all up through this system. All of which of course works very, very well. And we've got the digital dashboard as well. Lots of screens and displays you can see there. In fact, if we go through the different modes, if you pop it back there into Strada, you can see the different style rev counters that you get. Strada up to Sport and then up again to Corsa. And we also have Sabia, which is sand, Terra, which is earth, Neve, which is snow. The optional off-roading package that you can have with the car that brings you those extra controls through the anima toggle. You just get a few different bits of information really. You can see here it gives us your our tilt sensors. We go up into Terra. Oh, apologies, we just closed the door open message for the moment. So slightly different settings, and it adjusts the controls of the traction and four-wheel drive system, basically depending how you are, what you're doing, and what you want out of it. I think Corsa just gets all kinds of mental again with the power torque chart as well over to the left. We've also got locking diffs, some of the other controls for suspension and steering. The Ego mode where you can customize it. At the moment you can see it's set up for smooth, smooth and medium. You can set that up to be exactly what mode you'd like and then go back to Corsa on that side or all the way back to Strada. Nice and easy does it. It's another Mansori logo here in the center. So lots of controls, lots of opportunity and scope for customizing and making the car exactly how you would like it with Mansori. This one, I would say, is really pretty good straight out of the box as they have it here at the VIP Motors. Similar finish to the front, continues through to the rear. Plenty of leg space. We've got the screens for the infotainment back here as well. Again, the same details and touches on the door. And even if we come around towards the boot, where we've got the powerful tailgate, open that up. Again, plenty more space back here. Mansori car cover as well. And the 402040 folding rear seats. So big thanks to VIP Motors. This has been awesome to drive and experience today. The Mansouri Venetus Evo. That is it for now though. What an epic thing. A huge thanks again to VIP Motors. They've also just had a Chiron rolling in to stock while I've been out with this car. Always the craziest of the hypercars on display and of course for sale. A big thanks again. This has been awesome. Thank you to you guys as always for watching. That is it for this time. I'll see you again very soon. Cheers.